Hey guys, Paul the Car Guy here for another exciting video. Today we are going to be looking at the 2019 Ford Raptor. All right, guys, let's get right into this review here. Um, first, I want to start with the key fob. So we got unlock, lock, two times to press that. It, it automatically starts the Raptor. Then underneath, you press this two times and you have uh, pretty much drops the uh, tailgate in the back and then you have your alarm at the bottom. Um, so like I said, we're going to get right into this review. I want to mention right off the bat, this Ford Raptor lost about 500 pounds to the previous generation. Um, and I'll walk around the exterior here. I love the uh, how the lights form right into the body there. Um, and this is also six inches wider than the regular F-150 to gain more, uh, pretty much, you know, better balance. Um, big, beefy tires. And you can see right in the corner there, the orange is the Fox Live shocks. They're, they're pretty good. I wonder if I can get, maybe if you guys can see a little bit. A little better but they're pretty awesome so i drove this for about two hours one way two hours back it's a comfortable ride um especially to produce from the 3.5 liter uh, ecoboost which is um twin turboed um it's producing about 450 horsepower 510 pound feet of torque around 3,000 3,500 rpms which is pretty impressive um and uh, yeah, zero to 60 is also achieved in about 5.2 seconds. So that's uh, it's a pretty quick truck. Uh, and then you're able to go a little off road and there's a bunch of features for that. We got 17 inch rims as well. And they're able to deflate these tires to get more traction off road, pretty much for the purpose of the uh, uh, purpose of the Raptor. Um, and yeah, it's it's pretty sweet. Got your blind spot radar you can kind of see the width on this i don't know if the camera really does it justice um pretty much you can see how wide and it gets on the back and by the tires up front and then it kind of swoops right back in the center here for the doors um and this does the same exact thing brings itself back in uh, for the body for where everyone sits at uh, for all the passengers and it's really comfortable in there now this is a super crew cab which means this has 36 gallons for the fuel tank um does 15 in the city 18 on the highway miles per gallon now i want to show you the uh how the um, the tailgate releases here like i said you press this twice and it comes down apparently like these tailgates are the new new things with pickups everyone's trying to outdo each other um ford's doing pretty good with the game so pretty much you press this button here as well drop that bad boy there just bring this boom now pretty much you have a step up into your tail into your uh, pretty much your bed holding this foot down there holds my weight well this can hold about 350 pounds um actually it says it somewhere over here i believe or somewhere it says three 350 yep there it is um and uh yeah it's it's pretty sweet all right guys i love the exhaust note on this raptor it's pretty good i know some of you guys that uh you know pretty much drove the or you know Heard a 6.2, obviously, you know, that's in a good good exhaust note as well. I think this is just right. Um, I love the exhaust notes on both Raptors, on, on both generations, but um, you can't go wrong with that note. Another cool thing is too, um, pretty much with this blind spot radar right there, I just want to touch base on that. If you have a trailer and you tow with your Raptor, I believe you can have an eight foot um, trailer hooked up to the back. And it can also provide you with um, blind spot monitoring. So you don't have to worry about, um, you know, because you have a trailer, you know, blind spot monitoring won't work. It's not really beneficial. Well, in the Raptor um, and other F-150s, of course, don't get me wrong. Um, it'll be able to assist you at that point. But anyway, guys, let's get into the interior and, interior and do that uh, 
do that review. Okay, guys, now I don't need my key really to get on the inside. I can just go underneath that on the door handle, unlocks all four doors for me. All right, now we have the running boards here that say Raptor on the, um, at the edge here. Now this is actual metal, like, you know, it'll, it'll hurt you a little if you hit hard enough. Um, you got carbon fiber insert in the back here. Well, let's go in, in here and show the leg room in this super crew cab. This is awesome. Um, so yeah, this is, this is it guys. Um, you have the, this is, has the blue accent package. So it's Al, blue Alcantara and for the inserts on the, uh, on the seats. Now the, don't mind this. This is actually the rubber mats that go for this Raptor here. Um, you have two heated seats. Got a 12 volt back here, two USB ports. I mean, you got the whole nine yards here, really. You got a three prong outlet, two cup holders there. Now let me pull this down. Get to relax your arm and you can have two cups right here. Um, this back and yeah. I mean, now I'm six foot tall. Now you guys know my reviews. But I always show how much leg room I have. Now this is like, Bentley of the pickup trucks. Like, just look how much leg room there is. Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I can even have my legs fully extended and, you know, that's where I'm at. I'm sorry, I have my feet underneath over there, but they're almost fully stretched out. Um, and you see a nice bolstering on these, uh, on these seats here made by Recaro. Now, another thing too, I was talking with a, a customer, Recaro seats can be tended, uh, I don't know why they get the reputation. I haven't owned it, so I wouldn't know, but they get the reputation of uh, sometimes being uncomfortable. But in a Raptor, I would say they're they're uh, they're very comfortable, especially since I was in in the vehicle for you know pretty much actually about five hours for the full trip. Um, and let's get up front here. I'm gonna close the door so I can start this up. Obviously, push button, of course. It's gonna blow a lot of air, so let me uh, let me do this. Right there, I'm gonna move the fan speed. It's about four. That should that should be nice. I have the cool seat on right here. If you can see heated seats, uh, this is pretty much a power button to start everything up. This is pretty self-explanatory. And then if I want it auto, I just press it on this dial. And if I want dual climate control, the uh, passenger can just press this button here. Um, but I'm getting ahead of myself going over there. Um, now, as far as the feel, it is awesome, guys. I would love one of these. Uh, the MSRP on this one here is about 75,000. Um, so I need to sell a, little, a few more cars. Uh, um, now this has carbon fiber up front as well, of course. Um, and then this is your door handle right here. It's a little little different, but it's actually really easy to open because uh, most times, nine out of 10 uh, times, I have my arm resting here. So when I leave, it's pretty easy just to grab and push. Um, and then this has dual pad or uh, dual paddles, I'm sorry. Um, sh uh, shift paddles on the back here. Um, you have your turn signal. Uh, automatic lights, of course, and yeah, sweet truck. Obviously, I have the the right line to know where where straight is. Um, now, the, again, this is on ten speed automatic transmission, uh, produced to you by Ford and GM. It was a pretty good combo. You got carbon fiber on your your shift knob here. Now, let me put this in reverse. Show you guys what what it looks like when you're in reverse for a Raptor. Uh, pretty simple but set up as far as you know where you're going and if you're turning your wheel it'll show the black line and the white lines where your raptor is going to go and pull it straight and then here is the aerial view of the uh of the raptor so it shows your surroundings um and it's actually pretty sweet back in this truck 
sometimes it's usually pretty easy for me but if you get in a little tight predicament it's kind of nice to know where your lines are and um, how much space you have to give it um, now let's go over some of the buttons up top here this has the um, auto stop feature for uh, the motor where it can shut off at a red light start back up save some gas for you uh, if you don't like that feature all you got to do is just press this button and it's off uh, let me actually put this bad boy in park because that makes some sense you can press that camera here and it just shows the same thing as putting the car into reverse let's shut that off and it's actually gonna give different different views if you go through it so um obviously you have your your hazards here and that button is trail control um pretty much what trail control is view it as a uh, cruise control that you're doing on the road except uh, trail control is for off-road you know it's like um, pretty much all you would have to worry about is steering the the Raptor um, which is pretty sweet and then at the bottom at the end here is your traction control to turn that off and obviously the Ford Raptor is uh, hooked up with the uh, Sync 3 got navigation Apple CarPlay Android Auto AM FM XM radio um, let's view over here you got your three prong 12, uh, 12 volt over here. You got two USB ports at the bottom here. Um, and then it's pretty big over here. Now I just came from Lancaster PA and I'm pretty sure this can fit a uh, Turkey Hill uh, gallon of tea. So I think we'll be all right. Or some ice cream, one or the other. Uh, don't matter to me, I'll take either to be honest with you. Um, now, obviously, seeing how this is a Raptor, uh, this has four wheel drive. So you have two high, four auto, four high, and four wheel drive low. And your rock, uh, locking rear diff, which um, it's not available for two too high. I think you have to put it into to four wheel drive. Um, I, I'm actually, I'm pretty sure you have to. Um, but otherwise, um, like I said, I got cool heated seats. It's actually pretty nice on a day like this, um, especially since we have this uh, panoramic sunroof here. Um, man, yeah, you know, I never actually, I'll be honest, this is my first time seeing a uh, Ford Raptor with, uh, or seeing a, a pickup truck with a panoramic sunroof myself. I've been in auto sales for a little bit, but I haven't. Um, it is awesome to use. Um, and these are your auxiliary ports up here. If you want to, uh, pretty much hook up, hook up lights or whatever. Let's close all those, but you have seven you can hook up. Um, pretty much this is our shade. Just going to come down here. I'm actually going to close it cause I'm getting kind of hot with that sun. And then if you wanted to open up the, Hit it again, it closed all the way. And if you want to open up the sunroof, you pretty much press this, or if you want to tilt it open, you press this button right here. Um, but anyway, guys, um, oh, wait, another thing. You got blue stitching up top here. I don't know if you can see it with the blue accent. B and O surround sound. Um, and then you got your blind spot monitoring right in the corner. Oops, right in the corner there. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's. It's a sweet, sweet ride. Has adaptive cruise control. I'll be honest, I use adaptive cruise control for the first time um, for a long period drive. Like I said, I, I've been in the truck for many hours now. Um, and yeah, it it great for me. All I had to hit was, uh, hit was resume. And I'm sorry about some of the pausing. The, the camera on the GoPro goes black, so I can't tell if you can see or not. But all I got to do is hit resume, and it just keeps on going for me. Um, and it isn't like it throws me in my seat to catch me up to speed. It goes with with the flow of traffic, um, and I, I, I enjoy that a lot. Um, and it did it in a good way. Also, now this also um, has seven um, drivable modes for, for us, the driver. Um, as far as sport mode and stuff like that. Because we're going to go right into it. So we're going to start with normal. Deep snow. Whoops. Just going to pop it in there. Um, deep snow or sand. Baja, in case you're doing some racing there um, on the dirt. And then you have, it's going to shift it. Okay. Sorry about that. Rock crawl. Slippery. Slippery. 
tow and haul if you want to tow something. And then uh, sport. And we're actually going to keep it on sport for a test drive. I was going to put it back in normal. Um, but otherwise, guys, and then to fill up the tank for our 36 gallons um, in Delaware, at least, it cost $112 just to give you a, um, a vantage point. And that was going pretty much 200 miles. Uh, it has a 384 mile uh, TE. Um, so just to give you a little reference point, um, like I said, that's, I, I think I had nine miles when I took it off the lot, filled it all the way up because it was on E, and that's where I'm at. So it'll last a long time with that 36 gallons. But anyway, guys, let's go on the uh, test drive, and um, I'll let you guys know how I feel on the Raptor. Let's get to it. Okay, guys, we are starting the, uh, the test drive here. And... Um, yeah, you can tell this is a big truck. <laughs> this is awesome. I'll tell you what. Um, the benefits of where how my seating position is right now. One, I can see over most traffic and I can tell what the heck is going on. Um, you know, pretty much up ahead of me. Um, if I need to make a quick stop, even though this does have collision assist. So the, the Raptor would help me in that standpoint. Um, I like the, the seating feel. I feel like the Raptor is uh, is the one truck liked by Chevy guys, Dodge guys. Um, and even if it's not like so, they, they buy it or anything, but you know, they'd uh, at least respect it for what it is. Um, There's a, a lot of traffic. Usually I can make this right turn with no issues, but I have the camera on and it piles up here. Um, I think it's this one guy in front of me, to be honest with you. But uh, that's all right. We'll take our time. Um, but like I said, I think I think this is the one truck that everybody kind of likes. Because uh, I mean, what, what what's there not to like? I mean, you have all your all your safety features. You have all your, you know, um, the technology you really need in a car as far as uh, you know, heated cool seats, navigation, uh, your bait, you know, your your stuff that you you kind of want in your car. Um, you have your nice heated steering wheel, which I am I'm not using on an 84 degree day. Sorry if the the camera is a little shaky. Um, I'm trying to have it to where it doesn't hear the AC noise too much. Another thing too, these paddle shifters, um, you know, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's it, it's metal. You know, it's it's actually a, a good good product there. Um, another thing too, it, with, with these tires on here, I thought the ride would have suffered just a tad. I, I like it. I mean, it rides. I, I'm now I'm gonna say it rides smoother than my Dodge Ram. Um, but my Ram has a hundred thousand miles. So, um, you know, comparing a little apples to oranges there, uh, but it doesn't have, my thing is it doesn't have as beefy tires. doesn't have as that beefed up, uh, suspension and shocks on the bottom. Um, but this here, now it's an arcing too. Now this here, it, it rides so smooth, but that's because the shocks, um, adapt to, to your, uh, to your surrounding. Sorry about that guys. The camera went dead on me. Like I was saying, this fox, the, what Fox created for shocks was awesome. I'm going to do a, a little, a little pull here. Um, in three, two, one. Yep. That, that goes, that really goes, man. That is a, <laughs> Shoot, that is cool, man. Okay, um, so pretty much, like I said, zero to 60 in 5.2 seconds. Um, and you you can feel it. This big of a truck allow, you know, obviously, you know, car the Ford, uh, you know, Ford Mustang, Ford GT, all those are so quick. And you know, you hear 5.2, some people don't think it's, you know, anything crazy, but you have to realize how big this truck is to go that fast is mind blowing. I mean, you know, I'm, a, I'm impressed. I, I like, 
I love that. Um, I was pretty responsive too. Actually, I said three, two, one, and I stalled by even hitting the brake or the, the gas. I didn't even hit it right away, but. Damn. I'm gonna give it a little more gas here again. Three, two, one. is sweet. I love that. Man. If I could afford it, I'd buy one. I'll tell you what. So I gotta sell a few more cars, but... Yeah, you guys have to check it out at... I am so sorry about that, guys. Like I said, follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Paul the Car Guy, and subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like. It makes me do more videos like this. And helps me out. Uh, I think the, the GoPro is getting a little hot, so I think that's why it's having some issues with the SD card. Anyway, let's continue with this review, shall we? Now this, this truck, I'm, there's a few turns coming up. This truck, for how big it is, lifted, big tires, handles awesome on turns. Um, there, we'll, we'll, we have these turns coming up. We'll get a little, little gas, bring us up to speed. This is a minor turn right here. And then I have another one over here. I think it handles pretty well, to be honest. And it, it handles well. Another thing too, the one thing I do enjoy about the Raptor, not only is it fast, it's sporty, um, but it's also, it's also useful. Alrighty guys, sorry about that. The SD card died once again. Um, but anyway guys, uh, I'm gonna try to end this video short actually. Um, this truck handles well, very versatile. You can pull your buddy out of the ditch that ended up thinking he can go off-roading like you, but use the Nissan Sentra. Um, you can tow stuff. Uh, you could put stuff in the back of your bed. You could put five people comfortably in a car in a big truck That's lifted big tires could go 0 to 60 in 5.2 seconds 450 horsepower at your disposal um, I think it's I think it's worth it um, For what's out there in the market. This is pretty sick. Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed that little video Please give me a big thumbs up subscribe um, That helps the channel out a lot Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, um, and don't forget YouTube. All I follow the car guy. Anyway, guys, have a great day. Until next video, see ya.